the future of our universe is in danger. A horde of a strange alien race is invading our universe. Our defense is crushed, and our planets are on the edge of total annihilation. We have no other option. Oh man, we are screwed unless we have the most advanced space fighter available for this mission. We have the most advanced space fighter available for this mission. What luck we do! Now if only it has a cool name like Space Falcon. It does. Space Falcon Commander for the iPod and iPhone. Enemies are invading the universe and you have to blow them all up. That's the kind of plot that I like. Straightforward, simple, and to the point, usually followed by explosions. If you have an iPod and you're looking for a vertical scrolling spaceship shooting game, here you go. Space Falcon Commander is entertaining, well made, and enjoyable. While it has nowhere near the complexity of some of the larger shooters out there like Ikaruga or Gigawing, and isn't on par with some of my favorites like Musha, Space Falcon Commander is fun to pick up and play when you have a few moments when you're just hanging out with your iPod during lunch or whatever, blow up some aliens with a spaceship. The controls are on the bottom of the screen and it's like you're playing this game with a keyboard rather than a joystick. It's not ideal, and I'd like to see a version of this in the future where they give you more of a thumb-scrolling or finger-scrolling joystick button on the bottom. But once you get used to the controls, it's easy to play. You have some special weapons and power-ups. Like many of these iPod games, they're nowhere near as large as some of the 360 or PS3 titles, so it's easy to get on the global leaderboards and actually see yourself rise through the ranks. Although there's some real pros at Space Falcon Commander out there, my best game was about half million or something. I'm about number 77 in the world, which isn't terrific. This game starts out very easily, and it does get far more challenging after about the 10th or 11th level. We're not watching my best game. Frequently these are challenging to play while filming. And when you get further along in the game, there's more weapon upgrades, power-ups, and a spread shot. This is simple, straightforward, fun, easy to pick up and play. If you like shooters and you have an iPod, you really can't go wrong with this game. Space Falcon Commander. Extra points. Back. Space invaders are back. Did they ever leave? Warning. Incoming alien mothership. Space Falcon Commander is actually easier to play with two hands on the screen, using one hand to drive the ship and the other to activate the special weapons. Couldn't do that while filming. If you think it looks simple, like I said, it does get far more challenging and the screen fills with more bullets as you progress further in the game. Ah, that was sucky. If I could only hook up a Sega Genesis controller to this thing, I'd be a master at it. They need an app for that. For the iPod, for this style of game, you really can't go wrong with flying a spaceship in outer space, blowing up enemies. 